Wowee, look at all of this beautiful meat. Wow, Dry aged goodness. I could be led astray here, but yeah. I'm going to stick to the original plan. Okay. I'm going to get some rump steak and make a beautiful Asian salad. Challenge is on for a good wine match. Yeah, well look, when I turned the corner and I saw <laughs> red meat, I thought, okay, we're going to have to bring some red wine here. But mm -hmm. your Asian inspired salad, fresh, bright, mm. real energetic. I'm sure you've got some chilli in there yeah, as well. Yeah, yep, always. Okay, yep. so it might <laughs> seem a bit weird, but I'm going to go pair it with two white wines. Ooh. And I'm 100% assured it'll work. Love it. That's good. <laughs> hey. hey, can Laura. I have a bite? Hey, can I please get 300 grams of rump steak? Sure. Thank you. Fantastic, amazing, thank you. Thanks very much, cheers. Now I have got some incredible flavors here and beautiful wow. ingredients, all Asian inspired, yep. you know, that very like Thai, Vietnamese style. Yeah, yeah. Um, salad, herbs, garlic, chili, kaffir lime, ginger, all the beautiful sauces. Like this is just flavor, flavor, flavor in one It dish. is just a flavor bomb, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Now, we're talking controversial wine pairings. Yes, we are, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Let's. Why not? I know. Why not? Because we said, when we went to Neil's, yep. obviously there's this showcase of red meat protein, right? Yep. Lamb, beef. I, I could have spent a lot of money there. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I wasn't sure what you were going to do, and I thought, okay, red meat, red wine, pretty easy rule to learn, to live by. Yeah. And it is a good rule to live by. Absolutely. However, when you talked about the process of the dish and what's involved, and the fact that you've got all these very strong, aromatic, punchy flavours, yeah. and you've got a little bit of this spice in there as well, <laughs> I thought anything that's red wine, so you've got tannin in red wine yep. from the grape skins, yep. which is what gives the wine its colour as well. And generally most red wine, higher alcohol, mm -hmm. and you've got oak involved in the process. So Correct. tannin, alcohol, oak, these three elements clash with... With what we're doing. With what we're doing. The spice and... Yeah. Yep. And so yep. you think about this dish when it comes together, you've got all this energy, all this nerve, all these things mm -hmm. going on, bright, fresh, lively flavours. That's why I've gone white wine. So I've got a Sauvignon Blanc from Orange. Ooh, I don't think I've ever had a Sauvignon Blanc from Orange before. There we go. Love Controversy. it. Controversy. Yes. <laughs> um, and I've got a Pinot Gris yep. from Central Ranges, which is just around that orange area. Fantastic. So two New South Wales wines. Yep. And I think those fresh, clean flavours in this are going to marry well with this. Nice. That's I love my it. thought anyway. While you're doing your thing and you're talking wine, I'm just doing the boring old chopping jobs, especially, you know, with, with Asian cuisine, there's lots of chopping and marinating sure. and, and jamming so much flavour into something. So I'm yep. just grating some ginger and garlic here. And this okay. is basically just the marinade for uh, our beautiful beef here. So lots of ginger, lots of garlic. Okay. We're going with some palm sugar. I'm, I'm going to push add over in, in front of you and just please. go. Never apologise for putting wine in front of me. Sorry, you were Thank saying you. palm sugar. I palm sugar, you. just for that beautiful sweetness, and it also helps with caramelising the meat as well. You know, you get in that beautiful sticky glaze on the outside of it. So a good amount of palm sugar, because that Southeast Asian flavour is all about you know sweet, sour, salty, lots of different components to the dish. Time, yeah. let this marinate you yeah. know overnight if you can yeah but I'm gonna cheat this a bit we're gonna cook the steak straight away yeah, okay. and I'm gonna leave all this flavor in our marinating bowl and this is like a post marinade so once the steaks cooked we're gonna go back into the bowl because I do not want to lose any of this marinade post marinade exactly okay. so you're constantly bathing this beautiful piece of meat yeah in flavor that's okay. all we're doing cool. so we're gonna go straight on you can see how hot that is that's what we want, a good sizzle. And you know, even while it's cooking, add some more of that ginger and beautiful garlic to it. Okay. Let it just kind of do its thing, because this is all flavour we do not want to lose. No, not at all. Well, while this steak's cooking, I'm yeah. going to start by just making this salad. So we've got tomatoes, cucumbers, lots of fresh herbs, 
and then make more of a dressing to kind of toss it all through. So it's lots of chopping. Okay. I think we'll do chopping, talk wine, wait for the steak to cook, and then bring it all together. Can't wait. Absolutely love it. Perfect. And then the steak's going to go straight in. Yeah. You know, this is homely, delicious, flavoursome food. You just wow, need to pop your hands into really, it. Really, really good. So fresh. And you know what, for me, with mm. salads like this, it's the kaffir lime. Yeah. Thinly slice the kaffir lime, and it's just gorgeous. And also, a little tip if you don't have a kaffir lime tree, most people have lemon or lime trees in their backyard. Yeah, yeah. Just a lemon or lime leaf. The really? freshness that comes off it, wow. and you wouldn't think it because I think everyone goes, "Oh no, I need a kaffir lime." Yeah, I would. I would have said that absolutely. But you know, you don't actually have to. So we're just going to pile this up, make it look wow. super, super generous. I think the other cool thing with this is, given its weight and given its energy and freshness. Yeah. You know, this is something that I probably wouldn't eat in the cooler months. No, correct. Which I yeah. think gives even more gravitas towards the fact that we've got two chilled wines. Yeah. I think rosé would be great with this. Absolutely. And I think if you're, yeah. a, if you're a dead set, can't shake the fact that I only drink red wine, yeah. go for something lighter like Grenache or Pinot yeah. or Gamay. Put Maybe it in the chill it down. Put oh. it in the fridge. I've learned something. Took the words oh. out of my mouth. It's been a good day. Thank you. Chopsticks for you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, this is in my repertoire now. I love it. Cheers. Absolutely love it. If I wanted any wines on the website, how any do wines? we get them? Basically, straight to wineselectors.com.au yep. mm -hmm. and it will lay out all your wine subscription options yep. delivered directly to your door. You dig in, Adam. You sure? Yeah. You've done all the work. No. I mean, it was the way that you poured the dressing into the bowl, just made the salad. Amazing, long, bouncy, fresh, crunchy. Thank you so much. No, thank you. And two wines, always spoil. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one's my favourite. Take one of each. Variety is a spice of life, as they say. Thank you, Laura. Cheers. Thank you.